Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike and it's time for us to get into another music reaction. So guys, new artist to the channel here. This is a band called Cybercore. Uh, the song is called Leviathan. I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm saying the band name right. I'm sorry if I'm not. Uh, this is a German band from Mannheim. Uh, this is a request. This is going to be for my man on the channel, Colin. So I'm going to read something he said to me on Instagram real quick. Uh, he said, uh, Germans, uh, they're German cyberpunk metal. Uh, a little context to the song and really that whole album. The bassist Chris, and I saw his name was Chris Heckel. Chris was diagnosed with leukemia and only had a short time to live. He wrote most of this album and recorded it before he passed away. Not only is this band amazingly talented instrumentally, but the lyrics are deep and authentic. Right up your alley, I think. All right, so um, thank you, Colin, for the uh, request, my man. Um, this one, I, you know, Aside from the insight that Colin gave me, I did look at the lyrics. Um, let me just, uh, I do this for every new band on the channel here. I'm just going to read a little about uh, from Google on them. Uh, Cybercore is a German melodic in industrial death metal band from Mannheim. They were formed in 2007 and have released four independent studio albums. All of these were conceptual albums based upon a narrative of futuristic post-apocalyptic warfare set in a hypothetical 22nd century. Okay, so um, I do have something to say about that a little bit later, um, but that is sad about uh, the bassist. And, um, you know, at least uh, he got to finish this album and get it recorded uh, before he left this world. Um, you know, I'm sure that was one of his goals that he wanted to, he really wanted to complete it, and I'm glad he did. Um, I did read these lyrics, and, you know, based on all their albums being based on a, a narrative of a post-apocalyptic warfare um, knowing that he passed away and that he you know knew he was gonna pass away I can't help but think maybe despite this being about a post-apocalyptic world uh, you know a fictional story I can't help but see that there's some ties to um, you know maybe Chris knowing his mortality in this because I'll tell you why because um, well, first off, this the lyrics, they talk about this cult. Um, it, I'm going to read the first part of this. Stare into the mirror of deception, dire thoughts inside their filthy minds. We drown this world into rejection, and so their cult began to rise. So, um, kind of has some religious overtones, but also, listen to this line. Taste my blood for the final time. We live forever in a world of lies. Uh, and the very last line in this, uh, the very last part, I should say, is there anything out there behind the light? Is there anything for me on the other side? So, you know, it, it's it, maybe it is also a dual thing of being based on a, uh, you know, a fictional post-apocalyptic world, but also with Chris's mortality and, and his real personal life. I don't know. There, there, it seems like uh, it could be maybe about both. Um, anyway, I'm eager to hear this uh, new artist here, man. Uh, cyberpunk metal. I don't even know what to expect. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. Cybercore Leviathan.
Okay, okay. Hold on. Let's do some commentary here. Uh, catch our breath a little bit. Holy crap, man. Not what I expected. Uh, you know, industrial, uh, metal, cyberpunk. I, I didn't expect this. This is, uh, this is some full on just in your face metal here, man. Um, and you know what? I forgot to pull this up. I, I just wanted to look at an image search of them. Um, yeah, even after I saw this, I, I didn't know what to expect, man. I see that they're very visually appealing and they're, uh, they're live shows too, according to this and the way they look. I, I had no idea what to expect. So, wow, what, uh, what a face melter this song has been so far. Um, the, I don't, the drums sound really well mixed in this. Everything in, on the set, the toms, uh, the snare, the bass drum, all of it has like, I don't know, it seems like the bass on everything is just turned up. Um, sounds great, man. That drummer is really stealing the show for me on this track so far. He's killing it, man. Um, yeah, we got some cleans. We got some nice screams there too. I like the way the quality of this guy's scream. It sounds great. Um, yeah, I, I'm digging this, man. This song is kicking ass. Let's keep going. I'll back up just a bit. I will live forever. I just want to point out this song hasn't seemed super industrial to me, but this part it does.
That is beautiful, man. Wow. Wow, man. You know, well, first off, holy crap, Cypro, Leviathan. Wow. Um, the first half of this, actually probably more than that. Um, powerhouse, face melter, man. This one was in your face. Um, what I was talking about in the end, how it got super melodic. They really transformed how, you know, that how it sounded in the beginning. This and then even when it gets heavy and, and it's still doing that man they added in these other notes to incorporate into it and to make that melodic and that kicked in and I could realize what they did to change that in the intro you know in the rest of the song and make it melodic holy crap man that sounded so good that that's good songwriting right there man That part is amazing, and I couldn't think of a more beautiful melody to accompany that last super beautiful section of the lyrics here. Is there anything out there behind the light? Is there anything for me on the other side? It's almost like, you know, and if you read the whole lyrics, um, this is kind of like the shining light of hope in all of it. And all the rest is um, pretty dark. So just the fact that the shining light of the lyrics, the music matches that part in this song is amazing. Wow, that I that's good songwriting. It's beyond good. I don't know how to. It, it's excellent songwriting, man. Really, um, a great way for the the music to support the message and to change the tone that you see in the lyrics at the end. Wow, so beautiful. What a beautiful outro, man. Amazing. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow. Um, these guys, I, I already can tell I'm going to like the rest of their catalog, man. Everything in this song was awesome. They got the, mel the melodic stuff down. Uh, they got the extremely heavy down, too. Um, you know, the singer, the screamer. I don't know if he's also the guy doing the cleans, but um, I really like his scream. It sounds great. It, it's not what I expected also, even just considering vocals. When I read that this would be death metal, I kind of expected a different quality of the scream. Didn't expect this kind, but this sounds great. This song is brutal, man. Yeah, man, this song is brutal. And it's so cool how they, again, I keep bringing this up, but so cool how they can switch that brutality into uh a beautifulness you know um wow i dig it man i dig these guys uh you know just based on hearing this we lost a good musician in chris man um i don't even know if this band is still going to be uh playing without him but um yeah definitely eager to hear more especially since they've been around so long and have four albums uh hell yeah anyway um let me go ahead and wrap this one up um, if you're still here in the video, thank you guys for taking the time out of your day. Thank you for, uh, you know, spending time with me and enjoying some awesome, badass, brutal and beautiful music, man. This was great. Uh, if you have any other songs you want me to check out from Sipecore or anyone else, put them in the comments. And uh, thanks, Colin, for this one, man. I appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next one.